welcome back. In the Madeira Island Open, Des Smith is the leader by one on ten under par. Peter Mitchell just two behind. Has a birdie chance at the 11th. And what an opportunity gone. A very neat outward nine for Mitchell. 33, one eagle and one birdie. <coughs> and that was a chance to go four under for the round. Phil Golding at the short eighth. Golding's been struggling in 1996, played five tournaments. This is sixth, the first time he's made the cut. Birdied the seventh, uh, the chance of a birdie at the eighth. And getting a little help from the slope, but still a downhill birdie putt left. David Howell. So much young talent around in Europe these days. He had a great second shot at the par five second, and now elevated green at the seventh. Trying to fade it, trying to get some elevation, and running through. And a tricky chip left for Howell. He finished in the top ten in the Alfred Dunhill South African PGA Championship and in the Catalonian Open. David J. Russell has had a couple of birdies today. He's moved to seven under par. Winner of two European titles. Might he take his third title here this week? And well controlled from the left rough. Chance for a birdie. Back to Howell. Chipping for an eagle. An eagle that would take him into the lead. Move him to 11 under, just ahead of uh, Smith. Hang the ball back in his stance, trying to make sure he gets clean contact between the club and the ball. And well played. Fast downhill all the way. So he has that putt to Ty Smith. Meanwhile, Russell for his birdie on the 11th. Swing just a little from his right. Oh, I think it would have gone in. And he hit it just a little harder. Might just have missed on the left. So Russell remains at seven under. Now how for a birdie to move into double figures. Needs to be hit firmly. And a very good stroke, no doubt about that one. So David Howell now the joint leader with Des Smith. Both of them on 10 under par. At the 12th, Peter Mitchell. It's a dangerous par five across the valley. Mitchell had to lay up with his second. Now a chance to attack with a wedge. Three under today. Well, maybe not close enough for a birdie. Phil Golding at the ninth. Did birdie the eighth. Birdied the seventh as well. Ninth hole comes uphill to the clubhouse, as does the 18th. It's quite a climb up the hill. The caddies hate it. <laughs> Players don't like it very much either. Hole at the 8th for a buddy. Putting up the hill again. He'll oh. stay at 10 under par, but uh, unlucky that that one didn't bobble in. They've had a very harsh winter here, and uh, the golf course is in remarkably good condition, considering the weather that they've experienced here over the last three months. Yes! So Peter Mitchell gets his second birdie of the day. He moves four under for the day, and nine under for this Madeira Island Open.
Just one shot off the lead. Golding struggled to keep his card in 1995, 122nd on the money list. And look at this putt. Doesn't look like a putt from someone who's missed five cuts in a row. Minus eight. Three birdies in a row. Seven, eight and nine to the turn. And now just two off the lead. And this the situation. David Howland, Dave Smith on ten under. Chopra and Mitchell on nine under par. Three players on eight under par. And Paul Affleck has moved up. He's one of the group on eight under par. He's had six birdies in ten holes. As we rejoin Chopra at the ninth. Coming up the hill and misjudging it. Last year, Santiago Luna made a good par of this ninth hole when he looked as if he was struggling on the way to victory. And a tough chip coming up for Chopra. Paul Golding second at the par four tenth. And this hole's been made a lot easier by the loss of trees over the winter. 300 trees lost through strong winds. And judging the slope beautifully. It's going to be four buddies in a row. He hopes anyway. He's given himself a chance to do that. Back on the ninth, David Howell from the rough. Doesn't lack any confidence, David Howell. That's an aggressive swing, but coming up the hill, losing some trajectory, the ball coming in flat and running through to the back edge. Awkward chip coming back for Howell. Well, can Golding make it four birdies in a row? It's a great game, isn't it? One week you're not playing well, the next week you're holding everything. In fact, it can change from day to day. He's got him. Well done. So Phil Golding moves to nine under par. And he's just one shot off the lead. We might need a playoff at the end of uh, this final round to decide the winner. Many players in the running. Russell needs to make a move. His third shot at the par five, 12. Steered clear of the trouble on the left with his second and a chance for a four. Well, Howell has already played his third. Remember, he was just through the green after hitting his second from the rough, so this is for par. And he loses his share of the lead. Des Smith in the lead on his own again on ten under as Howell slips back to nine under par, assuming he holds this one, which he does. That's his first bogey of the day. Three birdies, one bogey, two under going out. 34. Still right in the running. David Russell for a birdie at the 12th. Another of the European players using the broomstick putter. He's got it. He's only two shots off the lead. It could be his title. Won the Car Care Plan International back in 1985 and uh, won in Lyon in 1992. Didn't drop a shot all week that uh, week in France. Things are not going well for Chopra. He was at one stage five shots clear. Now he's two shots behind Smith. Swede, Yamo Sandlin. Dramatic par three, 13th. 220 yards on the card. Downhill over a valley. And a long way to go for his birdie two. The 12th and 13th, two dramatic holes here in Madeira. 
Paul Affleck's going well. He started the day just two under par. Was out in 31 with five birdies. Another birdie at the 10th. And with a little luck, this could be his seventh birdie at the 17th. The young Welshman keeping the best to last. Playing there with big Russell Clayton. Well, Chopra needs a birdie just to boost his confidence, but just look at the swing on this putt. Remember, Golding's pitch shot went sideways, came back towards the hole. The slope helped Golding, but hurting Chopra. And that little left to right putt remains for his par. It was almost like a, a master's putt at Augusta, except the green here was slower. And they're quite fast. <laughs> Just shows you how fast they are at Augusta. Sandlin at the 13th for a two. He's just made $2,500 in six starts in the United States, so really struggling over there. Barely made the cut in Portugal. Trying to two-putt from long range for his par three at the 13th. Remarkable 1995 for Sandlin. Needs to get things going again in Europe. Affleck for his birdie at 17. Yeah. And he gets it. Nine under par now, Affleck. Just one shot off the lead. Seven under for the day. Needs a birdie at the last to set a course record of 64. And win that Johnny Walker prize. Al for a par. There's so much slope, it has to be hit just perfectly. Oh. Well, that might prove a costly miss at the end of uh, the afternoon for young David Howell. Consecutive bogeys for Howell. Chopra missed his par putt from short of the hole. This for a bogey. And it's been a disaster since the second hole for Chopra. Six shots dropped for him in the last eight holes. But look at the top of the leaderboard, a four-way tie. Phil Golding parred the 11th to say it nine under. David J. Russell birdied the 14th to get to nine under. Des Smith bogeyed the 15th. He's on nine under, and so too is Paul Affleck. Howell and Sandlin just in behind them with Mitchell in the Madeira Island Open. What a finish.